trust you're all keeping safe and well. We miss you greatly. But you know, I've been thinking over this lockdown period, such a time as has, has been of refreshing. Every morning, I'm usually a routine person to get up and go to the swimming pool. And that hasn't been able to happen with this lockdown situation. But you know, I've been blessed because where Gillian and I live, we back onto a park. And every morning, I've adopted onto either walking or a bike in the Cumber down a beautiful greenway. And it's been so tranquil to listen to the birds singing. And it's just amazing to think of how God and his provision gives us the good things to enjoy every day in life. And uh, so a new word has come onto my vocabulary, ornithology. And if you look at the dictionary, it'll tell you it's the study of birds. And, you know, I'm reminded from the word of God uh, when the psalmist could say in Psalm 119 and verse 105, he says, your word Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. What an amazing God we serve. But, you know, I've been drawn to the Beatitudes in Matthew's Gospel. I want to share some words with you from the words of the Lord Jesus. And these days have been a real encouragement to me. And we read towards the end of chapter, uh, chapter 6 in Matthew's Gospel. And here's what he says. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. This is what Jesus says. He says, so I tell you, don't worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food, drink and clothes, does life consist of more than food and clothing? Look at the birds. They don't need a plant to plant or harvest or put food in barns because your heavenly father feeds them. And you are far more valuable to him than they are. Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Of course not. And why worry about your clothes? Look at the lilies, how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all of his glory was, was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today, and gone tomorrow, won't he, won't he more surely care for you? You have so little faith. So don't worry about having enough food or drink or clothing. Why be like the pagans who are deeply concerned about these things? Your heavenly father already knows all your needs and he will give you all you need from day to day if you live for him and make the kingdom of God your primary concern. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. You know, beloved, the birds of the air, they teach us and they are a reminder for us of the, the, the goodness and the, the trust of our God in our lives because he'll never let us down. Said the robin to the sparrow, I would really like to know why these anxious human beings run around and worry so, said the sparrow to the robin. Friend, I think that it must be that they have no, they, they, they have no heavenly father such as cares for you and me. I've been reminded of a beautiful song sang by a, a, a Christian songwriter, Don Moan, and these words I trust to finish will encourage you. He says this about God. He says, he giveth more grace when the burdens grow greater. He sendeth more strength when the labors increase. To out of affliction, he addeth his mercy to multiplied trials, his multiplied grace. Beloved, his love has no limit. Love has no limit. His grace has no measure. His power has no boundary known unto men. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and giveth and giveth again. Oh, when we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed ere the day is half done, when we reach the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving has only begun. Beloved, the writer to the Hebrews says these wonderful words, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. God bless. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay connected.